and we're going to be talking about sunscreens today. Um, so essentially a sunscreen is used to block both UVA and UVB rays. UVA is 320 to 400 nanometers and UVB is 290 to 320 nanometers. And they work either one of two ways. It's either a chemical or physical means to, uh, to block light. Uh, chemical means it's going to absorb UV light and it's going to actually put it into a higher energy state to actually make the rays harmless. And a physical block is actually going to go on the surface of the skin and it's going to prevent the light from entering the skin and it's actually a physical block. So uh, the other term that gets thrown out a lot, which is actually not used anymore, but it's called SPF. And that is a sun protection factor. And it, it's not an easy term to use, uh, but basically a sun protection factor level of 15 means that 93% of UVB radiation will be filtered out. And a sun protection factor of 30 means 97% of UVB rays will be filtered out. So, um, with that being said, uh, let's talk about sunscreens. So, uh, Sarah, what are your thoughts on sunscreen? Yeah, so um, my thoughts on sunscreen is it is a must use every single day and that goes for all skin colors. So, um, there is this misconception that darker skin patients or people should not be using a sunscreen, but that is absolutely not the truth. Um, everybody should be using a sunscreen and like Dr. Shaw said, you want to be using um, a UVB, UVA and UVB uh, protection. So one is the aging ray, one is the burning ray. Both of them are very harmful to your skin and can cause, you know, skin cancer and discoloration in the skin and aging, you know, uh, premature aging. Um, what we have, uh, what I really like here in Dr. Shaw's office is that he has a medical grade BB cream. Um, I always tell my patients if you're doing medical grade services, expensive lasers, expensive peels, you want to do protection, something that feels elegant on the skin, and that is what these are. They feel really nice on the skin. They feel like silk. Um, when I put this on my patient's hands, they're instantly in love. They want it, um, and it's really nice because it has a tint in it, so it does create a really nice primer before you put on your um, foundation or powders. Some patients don't even need anything except for this. Um, so after they're doing chemical peels, this is what they'll use for the month and it's safe enough because it doesn't include the skin. It actually is um, has antioxidants in it as well. And so antioxidants are what they fight free radical damage. Um, so it's really nice and elegant and I know that my patient is not going to break out from this. So if they do break out, there's something else going on. So this is what I recommend. If you're going to be doing um, peels, lasers, SPF for sure, and you want something more medical grade. And, and Sarah, uh, does that, uh, does that, does our sunscreen, does it work with physical or chemical? Why don't you explain to, to everyone what's, what's mm -hmm. better, what's worse? Mm -hmm. So our sunscreens are both. So it's a physical and a chemical block. Physical so physical block. block is instant coverage. Yeah, correct. So as soon as you put on, if you put our sunscreens on, you have the block. You don't have to wait 30 minutes before going out into the sun. This is an instant coverage. And the chemical block, what that does is it reflects the rays away from the face. So this is working in conjunction for both rays, the UVA, UVA and UVB. Um, and so this was really important for Dr. Shaw to have as part of his line because his patients are um, facial plastic. So they're really concerned with the aesthetics of their skin. So we wanted something that they can put on and doesn't give them that like opaque skin, you know, that white skin right. after patients put on like some SPFs like give you that really white um, face, and that's from the zinc. This does have zinc in it, and it does have titanium. So we still have this, but it's formulated not to give you that um, really white, ashy skin. So um, these are my two favorites, and I personally use the Defensa El Viso because this is for um, all skin types, and this Aqua would be for somebody who is dry skin. So it's going to give you more of that emollient feel. Um, I know Renee loves this because she likes she that's my, skin. That's this definitely is her go my go-to SPF. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, Renee, what's the best way of putting on sunscreen? And this sounds like a basic question, but you know, someone's coming in and it's your morning routine. And um, when do you put on your sunscreen? Are you putting this on? Um, first, last. I usually like to put it on like right before, or I even sometimes just mix it in with my moisturizer. Um, and I, you know, first I put my growth factor on. That's the first thing I do. And, and that's that's presumably after washing your face, correct? Yeah, correct. I'm washing my face, and then I apply my growth factor on, and then I apply um, my eye cream, and then following that, I. Sometimes I like to even mix my moisturizer with my SPF and just apply it and I'm good to go. And with this SPF, I personally 
like obsessed with only because like it, it is that it does have a nice um, color to it so it does cover up any kind of flaws that you may have um, and it gives the aqua defense so defensa aqua it leaves your skin almost like a dewy look and and that is what I like I love that um, natural glow to the skin and definitely causes that and the way it, it feels the texture it's almost like velvet it, it feels great I never liked SPF only because of that white opaque look that it would give you and you just it, it, I just never liked it so this is well, definitely a product I love now and uh, any issues you think with guys wearing uh, you know a, a slight tint in the cream do you, do you right any so with? what it does dry clear so once they put it on their skin it does like a nice because it adjusts to the skin color mm -hmm. so you can't even tell and if, you know what guys even like it because it makes their pure pores appear smaller Absolutely. so men um, tend to have larger pores than women so when, uh, the guys that I do see in here they try the SPF and they're like wow it, it dries clear and it diminished my pore size it makes them appear smaller so they actually um, I think when you tell somebody that it is more of like an aesthetic thing that they're putting on their faces versus I'm protecting my face from you know harmful rays. They tend to use it, and want to use it. So like Renee said, she uses it with her her moisturizer. I always tell my patients use that, put it in your moisturizer or put it in your makeup. You're not going to even feel like you're actually putting yeah. an SPF on. And they tend to use it every single day because it feels really nice on their skin and it feels more like a luxurious uh, cream versus like this really thick gooey goopy thing. Yeah, and I think an important thing with sunscreens, I mean, several studies have looked at this. Uh, in Australia, they had a kind of two groups of patients. They had one group of patients who wore sunscreen when they thought it, they needed it. Those were on sunny days and mm -hmm. versus non sunny days. They had another group of patients who wore it every day. And if they looked at the amount of skin cancers, it was much lower. And I think it's a tenfold difference in the patients who wore it every day versus patients who wore it when they thought they needed it. So from a kind of a practical and healthy standpoint, I think patients should think about wearing sunscreen every day, uh, whether it's cloudy or not, uh, number one. Uh, number two, I think another common misconception with sunscreen is that am I going to get enough vitamin D, uh, which is a hot topic. And with sunscreen, you're still going to get vitamin D. Um, it's just, it's not going to um, effectively take that away. So I think that's one of those things you should still consider. Um, and um, I think you should wear it from an anti-aging perspective. Um, if you um, avoid the sun and um, you can protect yourself from the sun, uh, you're going to look younger and you're actually going to protect yourself from potentially harmful skin cancers. So wear it every single day and if you can take anything away from this, it would be that all skin colors and types should be using an SPF every single day, so, whether it's sunny or not. Right. Yeah, so find a good sunscreen that, that works well with your skin right. and I think if you do that, um, and you can use it on a daily basis, uh, you're going to be better off.